In this video, we'll look at just a couple of these functoids. Uh, record count is a very common one, so you might want to know how many children there are. And so over here, we do have a field called number of children. So that should tell us if we've got one child, three child, children, or seven, or whatever. And then iteration will tell you where you're at in a loop. So if you like put this over here and then look at it, it says the iteration returns the sequence number for a looping record in the output message. This functoid requires one input parameter. And I really can't demonstrate this without having a children loop on the other side. So what that would do is potentially return like child 1, child 2, child 3 if we needed a sequence number for our children. Uh, the index is a little bit harder. The index function is to retrieve the value of a record at a specified index. So it requires at least one parameter. Uh, there is no maximum. The first input has to be a link from a record to a field in the source. The rest of the inputs specify the index value at each level of the source. And what this could be used for is like uh, total levels. Uh, and it's again, it's fairly more complex, so we're not really going to go into the full details of that here. We've already talked about value mapping and how that ties to the logical functoids. The looping functoid is really just an explicit functoid that says I want to, I have a loop on the left and a loop on the right, and I want to tie them together. And since I don't have any loops on the right, again, I can't really demonstrate that one here. Uh, mass copy is also an interesting way to copy data. So if you say mass copy children from here to here, it saves you having to redraw lines of every one of these, these child elements. So by putting children into the mass copy functoid, it will actually copy not only children, but child name, child age, child salary, and child birth date to the opposite side. And this would also assume that the field names are the same. And the other one we'll talk about in a few, the next video is the scripting functoid. So right now let's just demonstrate this one. And this was, by the way, the um, record count functoid. So we'll do a test map. And that tells us that we have three children. So again, what that basically did was it looped through here. And it says there's one children element, there's a second children element, and there's a third children element, and there are no more. So it counted the number three.